James Dillon, take one. All right, all right. It's like my dad's sign. Which, by the way, Jamie Bang is uh, was my dad's original name for a stage name, and um, I took that because I'm trying to like you know make a legacy out of this shit. And um, I I don't know if this is like a term or anything. Yeah, it's like that. That's 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 the the coin texting me every time. I'm not playing games though. Anyways, uh, my dad. And my grandpa, I, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of this Shadows Legacy thing. It's kind of like my own thing that I made up. Uh, and it's like, I understand it. Like, the Shadows of Legacy, check it. So, my grandpa started off in gangs in L.A. Then he ends up over in the Navy. Then he ends up from there to, like, he has his sons. And he made his own business. After that, um... He retired and became a pit boss out in Vegas. Only because he owes California a bunch of taxes. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not saying the state is like, I'm dissing my state. I'm just, you know, dissing the fact that they give it out and then make people go to jail for the shit that they gave out. For... I speak truth on both sides. So be careful what you tell me. And be careful what you show me. Or maybe you'll have to nail me. And then you have to blow me. Call you narcoleptic. Anyways, back to the subject. I just like to rap every once in a while. Like, you know you at the top when heaven's right above it. <laughs> so anyways, my dad, okay, he had this Jamie Bang name, stage, whatever, bullshit, and he dropped it. And uh, I picked it up because, I, I, you know, my name's Jamie, and I don't... I'm not in a gang, but I, I know. Like, I stand my ground, ten toes down, fucking call me a tree. All my roots planted in. Just tell the world to move. And then, I look at people, and they look at me like I'm fo- so fucking stupid. And I look at them like, I talk a lot of shit. Imagine what I'm thinking. That's not a subliminal wink, but um, I'm going to therapy, okay? All right, so back to my dad. My, my, my brain's always scattered or skater or whatever the fuck. They're all haters, and I was at the Placid place. You know what I'm talking about, Tino? <laughs> all right, so my dad doesn't even credit me up until this most recent show, Crazy Town. He literally credited me on Facebook. I thought it was hilarious. And so I, I kind of had to like throw like a little truthful pun that didn't like, you know, make him look stupid. And um, said, uh, you know, somebody's got to fulfill your legacy. 50 years in the fucking industry and you ain't done shit. Four months since you've even come and seen your kid and your grandson. It's been like that it's for my whole damn life. The band first. Then the girlfriend, when he loses the girlfriend, then he comes to me and then he cries. But that's all right. Um, I guess that's life. I will not be like that, though, for Michael. Um, so I intend to take this thing very far. Very, very far. Like Star Wars far. And I got a Galaxy S10e. Not for Empire. I'm just saying. I just thought I should mention that. Um, but if I did something, I think I would uh, look like I'm doing nothing. Did you guys get the subject? This tattoo right here. Everything's just so weird. They think it's like it's like hieroglyphic or what do they call it? Like a like a like a, a thing for your uh, hieroglyphic for lack of a better term, whatever the fuck they're... It's called something else, though. Not calligraphy. Anyways, seppuku. This thing on seppuku, right? And they got the Aragazi Harar, which translates to the Sea of Trees. And 100 people a year, on average, go there and kill themselves. They, matter of fact, they just made a movie and dropped it on Netflix. And uh, I thought that was pretty interesting that, they, that they're even taking an interest to this. Now, and the culture down there, how about the fuck? But they kill themselves, like... Everybody else says, don't kill yourselves, because why? You're a fucking battery. Ask Neo. Anyways, back to the real world. Um, 
So I believe that my homie that died, he still fucks with me, right? Uh, he, he, he's, he's not. He's, he's alive. He's, he's, he's up. He's got to be up, you know? Um, then I had a new homie after that who fucking fucked me over, 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 and over. And it's all in my head. I think about it over and over again. Trust me. Every time I was even up going heading up to the pen. And um, I remember like a couple months ago, I tried to kill myself. I tried to kill myself twice. Uh, why? First time I couldn't see my son in 2008. I tried to OD in Mount Baldy. The only real religious experience I ever had. I seen these two... People coming down. It looks like a guy and a girl, but their faces were completely blacked out. And uh, they had this dog without a leash. I was walking up, had a couple ounces of cocaine. Uh, I just wanted to die. I, I didn't care. Uh, you know, I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't find my son. He was out in Texas. I thought Natalie was gone. I thought my life was done. Um, Partnership split. Back in the day, I used to. I used to hustle. I used to hustle hard. I mean, I've hustled pretty much my whole life up until this recent probation thing that they got me on. It's not like I'm not afraid to go fucking swim with some sharks. I just rather go fucking hustle in the sauna or where the grass is greener. But, you know, everybody looks at their fucking life and they just look at it like it's like like in spectrum and it's a video game and you died You're just waiting for your next try i don't know if that's an analogy for like being reborn whatever i don't know if i do be reborn though i hope i come back as a motherfucking flower fuck everything else if that was my first word austin powers you know what i'm saying <laughs> yeah baby that was a terrible impression because, I mean, honestly, I've been up for a couple of days. So the way I look right now, I just look like shit. I would have a shirt on and everything else, but I didn't have my hat. So, you know, I had to take the shirt off because if I don't have my hat, I might as well show you guys everything. I mean, I, I, I could get naked, but I, I don't think we could put that on you know, YouTube or whatever. Maybe I could tube you, though. Yeah, anyways, um, so... Back to my life, right? Um, I go to jail, like, when I'm, like, mm, how old was I? I was, like, 15, 14. That was the first time I went to juvie. And I was in GTA. Yeah, all of them were GTA. <sighs> That's funny. <laughs> um, each time, the, the time doubled and doubled and doubled. And then finally, uh... You know, I became 18. Right before I was 18, they, they put me in the BMC. Declared me 5150, like, four or five times in a row. Um, then they, they declared me 5250, two times in a row. And that's... The, and in, in case anybody doesn't know what that means, it just holds, like, 72-hour holds, two-week holds. It's not anything to be, like... Oh, I'm 5150. You're crazy. No, those people are fucking crazy. I'm not. I understand life. Um, man, you guys are really making me think about shit. All right. So after that, I uh, I went to jail for fucking possession of mushrooms because my homie was driving fucking speeding. It was raining and shit. Fucking cops rolled up on us. This little fucking dumbass motherfucker runs through the light. He's going like 60 down baseline. And we get pulled over. He had a warrant out, so everybody gets searched. I had Ace weighed out on me. Every single pocket of mushrooms. And um, I, I told the cop, I said, yo... My dealer gave me all of these like this. I don't know what to say. And it wasn't even my dealer. It was my homie's dealer. He called me on a block phone. So, hey, wink, wink. Just, you know, get away with it, at least when you're 18. But, you know, and I was like, I'm not going to give you my homie's number because what's the point of getting him in trouble? He didn't do nothing. 
And uh, I got away with it. This ain't the first time the cops have shown me leniency. But trust me, they pay me back with... Mm, should I rhyme and just say delinquency? I don't know. No, they pay me back with a fucking fury. With a fury called Nick. Marvel would know what I'm getting at. And um, it's Marvel though. If you if you were if you were a girl in another planet, in another era. Trust me, everybody I'm, I'm talking to right now understands exactly what's going on. Who bought what? Who sold it to who? And what the fuck they're doing with it? I don't want a crew. I used to thought I had one. I thought it was third eye prophecy. I thought we had each other's backs. Aaron and I would have Tony and Tino. Sorry. <laughs> Tino's back because uh, Tino raps, but he just raps. I love him, though. That's my dude. That's what I'm saying. Come back. Come back. Keep it true. And um, stick to your words, man. My words are so absurd that I don't even know if Birdman can fucking hire me. Lil Wayne would be retiring. Lil Dicky would come on the scene. Mix with Eminem. Call me fucking Lil Skittles. God damn it, I'm full of riddles. Anyways, so... Back to this Batman joke. I'm out here. I'm out here. Believe me, I'm out here. And, uh... That's the reason why I'm getting all this attention. I'm doing this interview. Um, I'd marry this girl if she wanted me to. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, so my life is considered of nothing but poverty and uh, trials and tribulations. A lot of uh, incarcerations. And... Um, Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's skip past that part. Let's skip to 2013. That, 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 that was like the turning point for me. My homie killed himself. My, my other homie, my producer, one of my best friends, went to his house. He tested me, too. He gave me a shotgun. I pulled the trigger. It was empty. Fuck, I guess I've tried to kill myself three times. Uh, I, I was losing my mind at the time. It's like, but what Tony did teach me is that man can never take your wife. You can only take your hoe. I mean, there might be like a little Facebook saying that he got it from, a little bumper sticker. I don't give a fuck. It's the fucking truth. And um, loyalty is everything out here to everybody. And I, I'm, I'm sitting here looking at everybody like they don't trust me. So why should I trust them? I don't know, man. I, I just, I, I just know that if I had a bunch of snow, man, I'd make them go up to the fucking North Pole, bring you back Santa Claus, and give fucking presents to all these hoes. Not, not like girls though, but like you know what I'm saying, like run, the, run the rap game, little diggy, <laughs> L dig. Uh, my 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 life consists of a a a, a, a fucking just a downhill spiral of mm, like this soap that makes dishes dirtier and mm, they renamed it like Baspade instead of Cascade and I was like fuck dude now I'm being rude anyways so I had to figure it out I went through all this shit. I made I made a couple songs. Uh, I have a song called Gulch, and oh my god, is it clever? Uh, my life with the gangs. Okay, let's talk about that shit. Since everybody's already, already trying to profile me, let's go public. I was out there in the islands. Yep. Yeah. <sighs> I'd be like four, five, six. Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Truth of the matter is, though, somebody fucking threatened my son. And I, when he did that, he also threatened my mom and my stepdad. I had two witnesses because this fool was on speaker. 
fortunately for him, they just think like him and they don't use a speaker. Um, so I got caught up in this mix of uh, learning. So I, I kind of quit music for a bit. And, uh, a lot of the homies are pissed off at me right now. A lot, a lot of the white boys, whatever, though. Call that white noise. You guys will get it one day. I'll stand down. As in ten toes down. Is that Ebonics? Fuck it. This is electronic. I found out a lot of shit once I went from this side to that side to that side. I mean, I ended up out there fucking, you know, Long Beach. I, I, I remixed Taste. This shit took me all over the place. Like, seriously. Everybody heard it, and they're like, come chill with the homies. Come chill with the homies. So I went and did, you know, fucking, what's going on? What's going on over there? What's going on over here? I'm like, you know, Horton. I am here. I am here. <laughs> Uh, my metaphors are so weird, but it's okay. You'll think about them, and then you'll think again, and then you'll be like, oh, fuck, I get it. <sighs> um, so after the, my little experience with the islands, it ends up, let's just fast forward past all of it. I want to give a shout out to my boy Flash. Thank you for fucking pulling me out of that situation because uh, you literally uh, saved the day all in fucking an hour. Think about that all the time. Um, I wish that dude was around sometimes But he really had my, my back on some shit And here, here Let me give you a, Let me guys give you a little, little street gospel Okay uh, And tell you that When you ride in the back seat And you have somebody else the same color In the front seat That's a no no Unless you think like me though And tell them skin doesn't matter It's a race called man not a race called fucking black, blue, green, purple, and orange. Did I mention any other colors? I don't know. Anyways. Um, God. I've prayed so much. I just feel so sad for this world. You guys are all confused. I'm going to five tatted on this hand. We'll explain that one later. I got a money sign. It's not too dark right now, but um, I'm going to get pay up sucker like Jesse James, put little smiley faces on it, you know? 1776, four. 1924, two. Two four? Wow. That's like 42, right? I don't know. If I was dyslexic. But anyways, it still adds up to six. And uh, everything that I'm getting at, you guys will get when you listen to everything. You're going to have to listen to this interview a couple times. Maybe not everybody in this room, but um, Nirvana would say I'm in bloom. I mean, at least Kurt Cobain would. That's why I said 33. About to be 30, man. Dirty, dirty. I got a feeling I'm dying at 33. WWJD. So this interview is a little bit so... Morose, like what the fuck? Uh, truth is, um, I didn't expect the interview to go like this. I'm just talking to a fucking camera, and my fucking phone's beeping, and shit's like that creeping, and I'm like, okay, just take a peep then. Um, because I know who I am. Shit bothers me. Shit bothers me, man. Shit bothers me about this fucking country. People throw out food and then don't help out the homeless. People fucking letting these dudes off on a fucking uh, a, a, a st- what is it? A stipulation like 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 you, you know uh, a fucking. Uh, I heard about this dude that got put in for murder. He was an immigrant, and uh, he uh, got let out of technicality. It was a technicality, that's what it was. And uh, honestly, I don't wish jail on anyone. 
But anybody that doesn't follow the code about women and children and elders, I mean, you ain't anyone. At least to me and hopefully everybody else. Fucking talking about G shit. I used to want to fight the cartel. Damn it. Ding, ding, ding. Saved by the bell. Why, though? Why? Because of the code that they do not follow. But then I got some more wisdom from the homies. I said, what the fuck you think is going to happen when martial law kicks in, fool? Those are our go-tos. I was like, God damn. That's so true. So I ain't even hating anymore. She used to bother me, but it doesn't. Just have to get that off my chest. Um, let's talk about the rest, all right? We're about one-third of the way in right now. Okay, so my life is my life. I don't think a lot of people could fucking wear these shoes. At least out of everybody that I know and my friends that are, like, not in the places that I've been. I just feel that all that I've seen, all this hatred, is just pure hatred. I actually have sympathy for the blacks. So where does that leave me at? I mean, everybody's like, do you fuck with the war? Do they know what the war is? Oh, yeah, the Civil War never fucking ended. People tell me that they, they, people should aspire to be like me. And it's, 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 it's stuff like that, that that, you know, makes me feel like there are days where I could, I, I could, I could change shit. And I can, make, I can make things different. I can make people hope. I can, I could, I could, I could take care of their sadness. And then there are other days where I've lost all hope. Fuck. I mean, you just, you, you see these people and, and I'm like, it, like people always wor- worry about what the fuck's going on in Iraq or fucking Iran. Who gives a fuck? You should be looking out your window and seeing what's going on in your own backyard before you fucking try to go change the world. Change yourself, then change your fucking neighborhood, then change your community, then change your city, then change your fucking state. Then it goes on. The rest is all on your plate. Get it? Oh, my God. I feel like a a balloon in water. At least I can float. But I'm at the bottom, though. They think I'm drowning. I'm not. I'm just clowning. <laughs> um, my life. My life. So the second time I tried to commit suicide was a, with a whole overload of information, right? I just fucking said, fuck this shit. And I thought about my son. Now here is my life. He's the only reason I'm alive. That's for sure. I would have fucking gave up on this world a long time ago. It's funny because when I was like 15 through 19, I was the man. Mm, maybe 20, I don't know, 19, 20, 20. I was, yeah, I was 20, actually. No, 15 through 20. It's so like five, fucking five years, go figure. Huh? I was the man doing the, I, I went through six cars in six months. Every fucking cop was looking for me but couldn't find me. They finally found me. They broke me off nine months, Glen Helen. And then I got out. And then fucking three months later, I went right back to prison. Over a quarter ounce of weed. And let's, check this, check this. Some of the closest people to me snitched me out. Does that make me a bitch? Hell no. That's my family. And I don't have a family that has all the same last names. As a matter of fact, we all have different last names. How the fuck do I sit here and want to pass on my legacy when my son's last name is Garcia 
and I'm Dylan. It was supposed to be the fourth. I want to continue. Uh, so, you know, gel changed me. It showed me how to be patient. I was 19 walking on a level four yard. And then they dropped me to a three at Pleasant Valley. You guys can check me up. AC3803. I can't fucking forget that number. I fucking hate that number. Um, Man, this is like a trip down memory lane. A little emotional, too. So, you know, I've gotten fights with friends and stuff. I've had girlfriends. Three, to be exact, that really count. Uh... They all fucking let me down. This rose right here is going to be colored red because that girlfriend really did represent love and war. And that rose right there is going to be colored blue because she was intelligence and she lied to me the entire time. We both represent a kid that could have had so if I ever have a chance to have a kid again, I mean, I'm definitely not passing it up. <laughs> all right, all right. So back to the interview. So what, where are we going tonight, huh? <laughs> what do you mean work? I thought we were, I thought we were doing an interview. Oh, all right, all right. Um, I'm just into you. I mean, wait, what? I gotta go and be like Captain Planet. <clears throat> Let our rings unite. But nobody wants to fucking take the chance. I'm the only one out here doing it. I'm chancing it. But I'm doing it smart as fuck. But I'm out of luck. Because I got no friends. Because of my beliefs. Because the fact that I don't think that somebody is better or worse than me just because of their fucking skin color or the fact that somebody could be this religion or that religion you guys realize we were Pangea that was a super continent like they divided the religion they divided everyone they made gangs you guys are stupid pawns Whatever though, still Jamie Bang. It's on my left one. I just she's on it. It's okay. <laughs> Go ahead, bang it, bang. Lay on the bang. <laughs> um, this was gonna get welcome to Vegas because my sister was in that shootout. Fucking biggest mm, conspiracy going on right now. You think these fucking shootouts are real? These kids are just losing it. Fuck no, man. These are fucking bad seeds planted from the beginning. And their parents were paid. Think about it. You guys are so afraid to fucking admit it. I'm just like, forget it. Whatever. I can't get to a fucking point of the world when I don't have a fucking portal. Doors are a waste of time anyway. But what I'm saying is, um, this world is a lot bigger than it seems. I've seen some shit happen. And, um, I remember this kid came up to me about a couple weeks ago. I was blocked in, cops, fucking helicopters, it's crazy. And I was like, oh, what the fuck are they doing? And, this kid was like spitting game and I was like dude you're lucky you're talking to me cause I don't believe in anybody's regulations I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna fucking I'm not gonna convert I'm, they're not gonna make me conform I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get cited for not following the rules I don't know how many more C's I can fucking do 
I hate the fact that everybody who hates the fact that I don't want to follow you. So what do I do? I'm writing a lot of music right now. Uh, you know, I've been anywhere from P-Town out there to Long Beach all the way up to the fucking high desert. Throughout L.A., fucking Yukaipa. You name it, Jamie Bang has been it, or been in it, or whatever. I tried to make that rhyme. It didn't work. That one wasn't supposed to rhyme. That's why. It was work. Um, did I make that work? <laughs> uh, so the subtle little fucking cheesy puns that I have are actually fucking nothing but real facts. Like, hey, 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 bro, check this. Do you know that, like, the only thing that really matters is you not getting old? Right? Everybody's looking for the fountain of youth, right? What about cheese? Cheese gets old. That's the only thing that worries about getting old. Cheese has to worry about it. <sighs> Fuck, man. What does the cheese do? I guess it just gets eight. And that's what fucking makes me hate. I'm full of so much love. And I, I think about this shit every day. Like, I, like, literally every fucking day I'm thinking about this world and how big it is. And um, bottom line is everybody needs to fucking open their eyes and stop being fooled by people hyping up your ego or people scaring you, telling you this is where you'll go if you don't do what they say. I'm about to go to Vegas just because my fucking uncle wants to sit there and get at my grandpa. I mean, this shit just happened yesterday. Fucking slit his throat, stabbed him a few times. And then my cousin OD'd. So, I mean, I, you know, I guess this just comes with the life. But, uh, I'm so prideful. And I really want to take care of everyone that's around me. I feel like I'm 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 the dude that that is like security wherever I'm at, like a true vigilante. Like, like. confessions one on one. God damn it! Oh, by the way, I've never shot a gun either. I don't plan on doing that. If you can't fucking knuckle up, then fucking chuckle for what? That ain't laughing. <laughs> um. I don't want to even talk about my fucking childhood and what the fuck happened there. Fuck my childhood. It was good. I had a good upbringing, okay? So, like, this will so figure it out. A therapy wants to do an eye test on me, though, about my psychoanalysis. This therapist. I fired her, of course. So. That's because she doesn't care about me. She just thinks I'm another fucking number. She's just like the rest of them. I can read right through that bullshit. Did you guys realize we can read right through that fucking bullshit? This language has only been brought up to me in 2015. Literally. It was like a saying. Everybody was like, was that an innuendo? Because I didn't know what it was. I was like, what is it? It sounds like they meant that for me. And uh, so I looked it up. And the term was innuendo. And, I mean, most people just say talk of shit. Pillow talk. What the fuck ever. You know? Um... I hate that language. You know what else I hate? I hate it when people deny the fact that they just did it and won't admit the fact that they did it to me when I'm calling them out on it. I'm like, did, did everybody forget me? Did, did, you guys, did, did people fucking forget who the fuck I was? And now these days they're like, oh, you got you to gotta, you gotta prove it now. So I went, I went around, right? I tried, I tried to steal some shit. I went to this apartment, 
getting on these packs. And then uh, I said, fuck, I went in this garage. I grabbed this, this, this bag, right? I come out. It's a fucking Taekwondo bag for kids. My son does Taekwondo. Immediately, it was a sign for me. I was like, I'm not a thief. I also tried to do it to me, but like, then I paid him right back and told him about it. And I was like, I'm sorry. So if I'm not a thief and I don't want to kill people and I don't and I don't want to fucking promote this violence but honestly the only reason why I'm promoting it is because I hate the ones that are violent and there's so many of them I was just hog tied up by like literally all these cops and so I know I said this but like let me just reiterate the fact that I was hog tied up. This eye right here is literally, it's a lazy eye because I've been beaten so much. This tooth, these teeth have been chipped because I've been beaten up so much. I've been tased twice, maced, fucking tooth knocked out, all in the same fucking arrest. Okay, cool thing about this, back to what I was saying about the cops. I got caught up with a bunch of cocaine. So this is what I say, not all cops are bad. That's why I, I, I kind of, I see that. But like, this cop was cool. He's like, takes me up. He's like, do you got anything on you? Of course I have a fucking bunch of ecstasy on me. And uh, I'm walking up. I'm like, nah, bro. I don't got shit. <laughs> He's like, you sure? Because we're going into booking right now. If you have anything on you, it's a felony. I'm like, I don't got shit. Stick it to it. So we walk in there. First thing he does right before they search me. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to take this guy up to Arrowhead. Get him cleaned up. Because I was, I was pretty fucked up. Um, so I go up to Arrowhead. And uh, he wants to talk to me about my life. I was like, dude, I'm homeless. I got a kid on the way. And all my parents are homeless. My sister's the only one fucking sleeping in the house. I don't resent Amanda. Like, I love you, Amanda. But the fact that you don't talk to me right now seriously fucking kills me. Kills me. I've done so much. After all the shit that's been done. So, what I'm getting at here is um, keep your integrity. Be good. And don't be good at it just because you can. I'm getting Spider-Man, a little Spider-Man symbol right here. Chat it on me. Send me a little Spider-Man. Get it? <laughs> Spider-Man. But, you know, great power comes with great responsibility, you know? Actually, I asked this dude that because he, he had this fucking tattoo that was like a, a swastika. He said, I ain't got this swazi on me for nothing, homie. And I was all like, okay. So what do you feel about being white? And me, myself, being Native American white, running wood, in pr jail, prison, every fuck it. Still, I Um, I'm caught in a conundrum. Because this dude tells me, I said, do you feel like you're better than everyone? Do you feel like because your skin's white, does that make you better? And he says, nah, it's a responsibility. I said, fuck? Didn't get it at first. Okay, so I go to jail. Like I said, I got hot dog recently. And then, but before, what happened was I was on private property waiting for my homies to fucking open the door, which they wouldn't. And then all of a sudden, they just come pulling up in another car. Like they jumped out the back fucking gate like I'm stupid. But then they set me up, like, with this dude that's a homie. I knew he would have smashed me. Thank God. And this is what I'm talking about. The, the, the amnesty that people are granted. My boy, you know, Ryan, 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 Tino, Ryan, John Ryan, you remember Ryan, Adam? Ryan, big ass Ryan. Okay, old kinder club. Anyways, uh, I'm a very honest dude when it comes to it. Ryan looked out for me. He could have fucking smashed me. He could have dog walked me. I knew Tom was, though. I called him up for a ride, and he said he was going to come and get me. When he came and got me, uh, he goes, where you at? I said, I'm over here in the bushes hiding out, kind of like showing by the front door waiting for them. Um, he goes, I'm here. And I was like, all right, let me call on the street see where you're at. I got in the street. This was the bottom of the street. I could see, by the way, he's creeping by our car. I was like, oh, I already know what time it is. So I just immediately started taking off my clothes. And fucking... 
I get low. I'm thinking I'm just one hit on this dude. This dude's fucking like a f- fucking giant. And uh, he's got hands like Bruce Lee. It's crazy. Uh, so I'm low. I, I go to get uppercut, and this fool literally gets lower than me. And this fool's like two feet taller than me. He gets lower than me and like swoops me, swoops my legs and fucking just body slams the shit out of me. Raises his hand, and I was like, fuck, here it goes. And he goes, smiles at me, and he goes, you're welcome. I like you, Jamie. Respect, bro. And I was just like, damn. That's what's up. For sure, like, that's what's up. You're looking out for me because you're the homie. Skin doesn't matter to you, just like it doesn't matter to me. Apparently, though, matter makes up everything. No pun intended if we were to get scientific. But if I was a molecule, I wouldn't split. Do you get it? <laughs> Some people do. Nobody in here would get that one. Just I've been through that part. And um, so I'm getting invited to the other side now, right? Like, Third eye prophecy. What the fuck was I manifesting my entire life? I don't know. I got problems at home. All I know is carry a knife. I'm trying to trust people, but it's hard. Because everybody's fucked me over so much. I've never really stolen. Like I just told you guys the two times I tried to steal and couldn't do it. I've never cheated on a girl until she cheated on me. And, uh... I'm a fucking great father. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I'll go head up with anyone that wants to say otherwise. Believe that. So, mom, too... Two people that I know that I'll go is like zero to a hundred. Is that what they're thinking, right? I'll, I'll quote my buddy. Hundred to zero in a paradigm I'm throwing. A nice line, nice line. Bar. So I was like, ah, for sure. My buddy Aaron jacked that line too. I was like, yeah, Jack Tino. Well, I gotta give him credit on that one. No, 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 I jacked him too because it was a nice line. <laughs> gotta bite lines out here, right? No, just, no, you do not bite lines. You cross them. You cross lines. Because that's what a boss does. To figure out what's going on over here on the other side. That what sucks about my life, though, is I'm fucking solo. Call me T.I. Because I'm a targeted individual. And with that C.I. shit, though, that's fucking... Too much in that mythical bullshit. Playing Dungeons and Grand... Fucking dragons while they're making rap. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not taking any jabs. I ain't winning the game. I'm just making analogies. Uh, you know, let's talk how they do out here. Uh, let's see. Uh, can we? Can we uh, get a clue? Or, um, I mean, if I was shameless, I guess I'd be Steve, right? No, but you go to that Cosby show with the kids, right? Because propaganda was fed to you. And that's just me being way more intellectual. <sighs> Fuck, I can break down this fucking country. Just show me a little bit more. The rest is all imagination. And I know my imagination is more like part of my name. It's like, it's like a prophecy, man. If I die, I die. If I live, I give. And uh, I have so much faith in God that maybe uh, it's actually working. And all these non-religious folks. I'm omnious myself, so we'll get that out of the way. It's like eclectic, whatever. I believe in all religions. There's no 
numerous gods. I know I'm, I just keep repeating this shit because you guys are not understanding what the fuck I'm saying. So, I mean, like, literally, like, I got friends that don't talk to me that live right next to me. And we used to talk all the time. And all just because skin color got involved and people fucking figured out we were chilling together, we're not allowed to hang out anymore. I got friends that are my skin color and won't hang out with me because I don't want to hate on other people that are not my skin color. I got people that are brown talking about how they want to take it over. But I'm like, hey, yo, I'm by myself, dude. Uh, I know I... It sounds like I'm just talking in circles, but I'm really not. Everything I'm saying right now, there's more being said if you're paying attention in each line. Uh, they say I'm um, schizophrenic, paranoid, delusional, a uh, little bipolar. Uh, I just think that's them making me take that fucking blue pill. And here's my concept on the red pill and the blue pill. The blue pill is all pills. Any type of medication you need. The red pill is no pills. No medication. And... (laughs) Can you imagine being able to face the world without being under the influence of something? I don't think a lot of people can. They need they need some type of crutch to get them through life like 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 it's hard and they're crippled. And then they're making fun of people, telling them they're gonna be a cripple if they keep doing this, that, and the other. And then they'll take a cripple's fucking parking spot, not even being crippled. The hypocrisy goes on and on. People contradicting themselves. There's the fourteen fucking proverbs. Ain't none of these motherfucking people that I know following them. And everyone knows what I'm talking about when I say that. I mean, 2316, man, I used to rep that shit. It wasn't about the power. It was just all about the pride. But then I figured out what was going on. It wasn't really a lie. It was just something that was disguised. And uh, I was truly surprised. That the elite. Oh God, I fucking hate the fact that this is the catapult to my catalyst, and uh, I'm just gonna tell you that the elite think that they should all be pink, like a sphinx in time. Fuck it though. You know Egypt hates America the most. It's the craziest thing that we fans, you know, we like literally like we idolize that country. Everything is Egyptian here. Like, what the fuck? Pyramids, this, that, that, and other. Uh, <sighs> I mean, China's got this fucking continent that's so big and they're, they're, they're gonna like invade. You guys can think about North Korea, Iraq, and Iran. And uh, I just think about Japan, dude. Japan. They're the ones that really suffered that fucking atomic bombing. Here in America, though, not a lot of people suffered in the history books. I bet you over there, it's a different look. Like how the British look to themselves versus everybody else. The red coats are coming. The red coats are coming. I guess I'm about to go Superman on these motherfuckers. Now, fuck that. I'm going to go Marvel and be my own character. No pun intended. Um. Anyways, my name's Jamie Bang. Yeah, you heard that. It took me to the ice cream shop. Ah, you don't want to get caught. Fuck it. Anyways, um, 
I'm sitting here wondering if I should even trust it because you just never ever trust me. No one's ever trusted me. Once again, why should I trust them? I got friends that feel me. They have like the sympathy or pity or whatever the fuck they feel. I'm like, why don't you guys just look at me and just be like, man, that dude's real. Like, I can't help but rhyme when I think like this. I'm trying not to rhyme, honestly. But I stink at this. <laughs> I'm not saying that I stink at this figuring it out. Because E equals MC squared, right? But fuck relativity. And fuck time. I'm out. Should I say peace? Oh, wait, wait. I got to throw it up like that. Trump or slump? Slumped or Trump? I mean, fuck it. She'll do it like that. She'll do it like that. Left eye? No, she'll do it right eye. I should just, should, should just be like, no eyes. I should just be like, I can smell it. And you know what's funny? Don't ever, 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 ever think that you can go from dark to light to dark. You can't. Hope versus despair. Light versus dark. You can go from light to dark and back to light, though. Why is that? Don't you feel like there's some deception there? Like, there's got to be, right? No? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. This is just my brain thinking. Why the fuck would you let me in? Fool me once, my fault. Fool me twice, you're fuck. Whatever the fuck it goes. I'm dyslexic. You know what I'm saying? Um, I fucking hate the fact that people hate people. I was already supposed to cut out, but I guess we'll go to the sequel. Part three. Uh, so here we are. Past two-thirds in. And we're going to end this with uh, my current life situation. So I get my car jacked out in San Bernardino, right? This is hashtag drama, hashtag San Bernardino, hashtag rancho, hashtag fucking car. Um, I get my shit jacked. My boy calls me up from jail. Like, Jamie, I'm like, how the fuck did you even know what the fuck happened? Don't trip. I'm like, all right. Well, what, what's up? Needless to say, I'm in the middle of the fucking most... Stressful situation. It was it was terrible. It was terrible. Dude, the, the threatened my family came up to my house. I'm like, God damn it! I'm sitting here, my homies ODing. I'm holding him up. He's puking. Hmm. Other homie took off. My parents are fucking pissed off, and they don't even know downstairs is the killer. And I just told him, Don't go there, bro. I gave you a fair warning. You know the rules. And uh, I let it go because I figured nobody's going to do anything over just talking shit. You don't want to ever be the reason out here. Ever. Just remember that I said that. Don't ever be the reason. <sighs> but am I still filming? We're still going? Okay, check it. We're, we're, no, no, five minutes? All right, five minutes. <laughs> Let me end this in five minutes. So my car gets jacked out in San Bernardino, right? I'm sitting there going, fucking A. I knocked this one out of the park. Met all the shot callers. Oh, you know, shit, man. I'm like, all right. I don't know what to do with any of this. It's funny because my mom shows me Tupac Resurrection right after I get my car. Like, literally that night, she goes, just watch this fucking movie, Jamie. You could have just showed me that fucking movie from the beginning and I would have known what was going on instead of figuring it out by myself. And, uh, they could have stopped me. But my mom did stop me. She came home crying. And she goes, what are you doing? Please stop. And right then and there I stopped. So I can't do this anymore. Not that I was really doing anything, you know. I'm just exploring better than Dora ever could because it's I'm the map I'm the map I'm the map <laughs> but uh you know so I get my car jacked 
I'm down at Tent City in San Bernardino. Everybody knows where that's at. And uh, I decided to fucking come back up. I'm like, all right, I'm going to go with Waterman. Because I can get in the intricacies of the, the jokes, the little... Hey, you understand what's going on? Because this is what we're going to do to you if you don't do this. And it was either two options. Smoke that fool or fucking get a gun pointed at my face and my mouth. I don't give a fuck. Either way, it's disrespectful to me. So I said, all right, I'm going to go ask the dude up in front if he uh, knows what's up. And I go up there and I said, I looked at him and I was like, you know what, fool? Fuck this. Anybody that thinks that I need to prove myself over and over and over. It's just going to eventually use me. My homie told me something a long time ago. My producer said, anybody that feels entitled to something of yours should not be trusted. I'll never forget that. It was like true words of wisdom. So anyways, I decided to get gangster with it. I walk up on the left side of Waterman, and I go all the way up to Highlands. I'm like, everybody's like, oh, Jamie's from Mount Loma or Rancho or whatever the fuck. Go all across Highlands. I'm like, this is a joke. They're asking me all these questions. What does that D stand for? What does that 28 stand for? What's this stand for? What's that stand for? I'm thinking, D, Dylan, I don't know. So I see D Street. I come down D Street. Didn't think there was a cop f- fucking police station sitting right there. I was like, fuck. So I go behind a bush, flip my shirt inside or out, because I got everybody looking at me. People coming out of fucking barber shops and shit going... Hey, it's the one-man circus and one-man parade, you know? So, I see this car. And these are just the little things I'm telling you. I see this car running. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to jack this car because they jacked my car. I jump in it. There's a girl and a baby in the back seat. And uh, she goes, Stan. I jumped out immediately. And I said so I could do this by myself. I don't need nobody's help. I'm doing this for my mom. Because ain't nobody gonna threaten my mom and thinking I'm not gonna stand up. I mean, fuck, man. So I ended up going across Highland, coming down D Street, get past the police station, flip my shirt inside out or back the right way. And I see Fifth. I'm thinking Fifth. Huh, that's a good number. Let's go across Fifth Street. Let's just clown while we're out here. I got motherfuckers running up to me, pointing guns in my face, telling me I'm going to die. Weird ass shit. Twins. One twin coming out like a gangster ass thug motherfucker. You just, what's up, motherfucker? Then I come around the corner, there's the same dude with kids. Like a family man. That's what you got to understand. That, like These people are not out to get you if you want to be with it. They ain't out to get you, period. A lot of people aren't. They're just all on their period. Do you get that? Like, it goes for everyone. And uh, me, myself, I come up, I, I start seeing, it's, 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 getting, it's getting hectic at this point, so I fucking jump over this fence, end up in this fucking, like, uh, like one of those fucking truck yards or whatever the fuck they are. Uh, literally, it was a truck yard. I'm not saying I'm a truck. <laughs> that time um because I did I held myself up like seriously I was walking tall that entire night so I walk all the way across get to Tippy Canoe or no it was, it was uh, Rialto Rialto that's what it was because that leads up to Tippy Canoe and I remember you know my sister lives around there alright I gotta figure this out and uh I, I uh see all these dudes at the bottom and I'm like Hey, uh, does this lead up to Foothill? And they're like, yeah, sure does. I was like, you guys mind if I go through? And they're like, you sure can. And as I'm walking past, one of the dudes even says, that dude's a straight badass. And I was like, thank you for at least acknowledging what the fuck I'm doing here. I will die for my family. Most motherfuckers would just call the police if a drive-by happened. I would just go out and avenge them. And that's where people got this whole entire fucked up mentality of being afraid. So I end up at this spot on Tippecanoe and 3rd. 
And I wasn't scared the entire night until this this dude come out and said, said he's like, you in the wrong, you my you my body on now, you know, she about to go down, you get cracked and blah, 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 blah. Essay, essay, essay. I'm like, fuck it, paragraph, get away from me. And, um, but the fucking funny thing about the paragraph was this little kid, he was like less than 10, screams murder at the top of his lungs. That shit scared me. I was like, you guys got the little kids in this? Where the fuck are your morals? And this isn't just going for them. This is going for both sides. I've seen it on all sides. I'm proud of myself as a father from keeping him out of the fucking light. And uh, I ended up at this Asian store and I asked him. I go in and I was like, you guys got any water? I didn't even think what I was doing. I was just I was thirsty. And they fucking like, yeah, right there. And I was like, all right. So I, I just looked at this fucking giant water thing and I, I drank a bunch of cups of water and I was like, Thank you guys. And I go back out. And as soon as I co- go to go back in, the fucking door's locked. They locked me out. I was like, shit. There's a Domino's. <laughs> I can hear people cackling. Red and blue? Pizza? Is he serious? <laughs> Systems bumping, people rolling up on me. I offered them my 3EP fucking button. I was like, hey, bro, you want this? Rep my fucking, my, 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 my group, my rap group, Third Eye Prophecy. Jamie Bang, yeah, he came out here, he did that. Got his car jacked. Walked through all your neighborhoods. Ain't nobody did anything. Called my mom up from Domino's because I couldn't fucking figure out where the fuck to go. I'm not really, you know, too familiar with San Bernardino. But, um, <laughs> so, you know, my mom comes and picks me up. To end the story, we end up at this Costco parking lot, and this dude's sitting there, and I'm all like, my mom's all like, getting out of the car, she's trying to call the cops, because the car's in her name. And I'm like, Mom, do what you do. This is the whole reason why I went out here. It's because you can do what the fuck you want. To. I got your back. And uh, the security guard comes up to us and tells us we got to leave. Immediately, I get out the car. I was like, the fuck? You're a security guard? And you're telling us we got to leave because we're waiting for the cops? I tell my mom. She thinks I'm crazy. I'm like, this motherfucker's with them. Fuck him. Let's get someone. They got me. Not like like, like on some like killing spree. I'm like, let's fuck this dude up. Fuck his little fucking belt. And, uh... My mom's yelling at me, fucking slapping me, makes me tell me to go back to the car. She just starts walking away. As she walks away, the dude throws up his hood. Now everyone's misunderstood. And that's where I'm at in life. I'm writing a book, though. It's called Life in the IE. By Jamie Bang. It's going to be an autobiography. Way more entertaining than this fucking interview because nobody's asking me anything. But I do got this right here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> See, Kaylin and I. Oh, wait. I mean, um, her, her name is not Kaylin. It's, um, it's Caitlin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, deuces.